Seven. What's up, America? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock. It's Tuesday. It's time for lunch break brought to you by RecTech. It is chicken week, all about the chicken this week at RecTech. And my main man, Chef Greg's, got it kicked off. Let's get it started. I'm Chef Greg, your Director of Culinary Innovation, and with me we have some guest hosts because it's all about the chicken this week. So we figured we would bring, no, they're not chickens, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our rock stars in the call center upstairs, you might have seen these guys once or twice in a hot dog eating contest, a chili cook-off, a chicken wing competition. They are pretty competitive. To my right, your left, the one and only Ryan the Rock Burton. He's a four-time wing champion right now at RecTech Worldwide Headquarters. Five after tomorrow. You can't hear him because he's gotten on a mic, but he said he's going to be the five-time champ after tomorrow. Mr. Aaron Stone, you've never been the reigning champion, have you? Three times running. Never. Never wins. <laughs> Terrible chicken wings. I'm really just kidding. Aaron Stone makes some delicious food on the, uh, the RecTech as well. And then we have the Wi-Fi expert, Zach Pitcher still lives at home with his mom cooking crock pot meals. <laughs> Definitely not true, but that's a great story. And then the one and only Matt Knipe, one of our shipping specialists. And you guys probably know or don't know what you're doing here. Not a clue. No. Not a clue. Well, if there's one thing we like to do here at RecTech, other than have a really good time, is pretty much wager, bet, and gamble on just about everything. And y'all are the top contenders in that. Well, I got a wager for you guys because we're going to make some slamming jerk chicken thighs. Now, Matt Knipe here thinks they're eating raw chicken. Not the case. I was excited. Not the case. But to make jerk chicken, you need a couple things, right? You guys know the ingredients in jerk seasoning? <laughs> so we got some dried ginger. We got some nutmeg. We got some allspice. We got some cinnamon, a little brown sugar, some onion, some garlic, some fresh ginger, some citrus, some green onions, but we also have a couple of habaneros, Ooh. okay? And I went to the store today, and I really only need one of these habaneros for this recipe. So my challenge to you guys is pretty simple. The first one, <laughs> hold on, it's not, it's not ready yet. The first one to down the pepper, swallow in its entirety gets a cold beer out of these fantastic Rectech Icer coolers. They are available in three colors. We got the red and black, the red, white, and blue, and that camo. But gentlemen, my challenge to you, first one to eat the pepper. Whole pepper, Chef Greg, whole, seeds whole, and all. Everything. Okay, here we go. You can discard the stem, okay? Um, you got to swallow. We got to inspect clean mouth. Hundred dollars, cooler of your choice. Whoa. Hundred dollars, cooler of your choice. Now, to make it fair, I'll go ahead and cut the stems off. And I think maybe we could do a Facebook contest out there. <laughs> so you guys comment down below if you think it's going to be Ryan, Aaron, Zach, or Matt. And maybe we do something special for the person that picks the uh, the correct winner. On a scale of nine to ten, how hot the habanero? Okay. So habaneros and mo all peppers are rated by these Scoville units. The higher the number, the hotter the pepper. They actually take a drop of water and drop it on your tongue till the, the heat goes away, right? So a, ha a jalapeno could be anywhere from like forty to sixty thousand Scoville units. A habanero could be anywhere from three hundred to 500,000 Scoville units. So potentially it could take 300 to 500,000 drops of water to completely relinquish the flame in your mouth. So before you don the pepper, I will present you with your peppers. At random, of course. How many do we buy? I, I bought, I've actually bought five. We don't have a six back there? We don't. 
because the sixth one went in the uh, the marinade before. See, I think about these things before we start. So, guys, count it down with me. Who do you think is going to win? Ryan, Aaron, Zach, or Matt? We're going to count it down in five, four, three, two, one. Down the pepper, boys. Oh, Ryan went in hard. I'll go ahead and open your beers for you. But before you drink, we have to inspect the mouth to make sure that there's no cheating involved. You got to face the camera. They might think you're spitting it That's out. That's right. Face the camera. All right, come and on. Sure, get ready down, to get Zach's in there. Sure, get ready to get in there. You got it's on your tongue. You got to swallow. We got a clear winner right there. Woo! Matt get in there, shirt. Matt Knipe is our winner. That's the dark horse right there. Uh, not my pick. Uh, Matt Knipe, congratulations. So, how would you describe your win right now? Come on, shirt over here. Is it hot? Is it good? Hot. Like on a scale of one to ten, how hot? Like two and a half. Two and a half? <laughs> you really want this cold beer? This ice cold <laughs> beer out of that brand new Rectech Icer cooler. <laughs> Salute, buddy. Well, gentlemen, I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, my god. And you're goodness. welcome to stick around for the rest of the show if you want. Oh, because my goodness. your pain is, is, is our fun around here. Yeah. And we're going to make totally some is. delicious... Jerk chicken. It's good. Okay. For the people at home, we did not know about that. We'll be getting Greg back. <laughs> what are friends for, right? But, I mean, Matt Knipe is $100 richer and is a proud owner of the cooler of his choice. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's a $249 that's a win right dollar there. value right there. That is a right win. There. That is a win, win, win. All right. That's the best way to occupy the first five minutes of any show. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this started because it is 12.07. So if you guys want this recipe and more, make sure you guys subscribe to all of our recipes at rectech.com slash lunch break. And, uh, you know, we got some brown sugar. And hold, hold on. Hold, hold on. Just heard right now. Coolers are available at rectech.com. What? Beep, 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 beep. Back to the recipe. So we've got some ginger some cinnamon, some allspice, some nutmeg, and some ground cloves, a little soy sauce, a little onion. Now, John, I know they're out there going crazy, right? They are. There's uh, 313 of them out there, and they're loving it so I far. I love it. We got some garlic, some olive oil, some white wine vinegar, and then we got some fresh ginger here. And what are you putting all that stuff in, Chef Greg? We got our uh, fancy RoboCoop here. We got a food processor. You can use a blender as well. If you chopped all the stuff up by hand, fine enough. You could do it by hand. But for me, um, I mean, why not, right? One habanero because, again, they did save me one. But how about that Matt Knipe coming out like a dark horse? That's right. He would not have been my pick. We I'm had a couple people out there pick him, actually. Really? Yeah. So one of those, we'll have to pick a... Go back and figure out who picked Matt Knipe and do something special for them. For sure. Um, we got some green onion here. I'm still impressed. I mean, all four of those guys, with the exception of Zach, went in with reckless abandon. Yeah. Now, thankfully, we do have enough restrooms for all of those guys <laughs> so that, um, you know, when they start to feel the, uh, the burn for the second time, they have a little privacy. Yeah, my money was on Matt. I didn't want to say it in really? front of all of them because I didn't want to discourage any of the other guys. But I know that guy. He's not scared. He's the quiet one. But those it's are the ones you got to watch, out, watch out for. That's right. So we're going to add two bunches of these green onions. And you guys might not have heard, but these coolers right here, they're back in stock. Back Chef John, in stock. I know you're thirsty. I am. Here you go, buddy. Beer me. Yeah, buddy. You know, I got the show started so fast, I didn't. Uh, yeah. Get to wet my whistle either, but uh, as my grandmother would say, Thenawana Epocrepa, a hundred years and then you croak. <laughs> mm. That's dynamite right there. Nice, cold Miller Lite. I'm going to grab some limes, and we're going to juice up some limes in here. If you don't have a fancy juicer, definitely need one for sure. We're going to go ahead and puree this up, make this delicious jerk marinade. Eh, it was a juicy one right there. 
And then we'll marinate this chicken for like four to six hours. And then we got that, again, back in stock, RT B380 bullseye. That's right. Burning those Kingsford hickory pellets right we, behind me. We Just are all stocked up. Chef firing Greg. all cylinders. Yeah, we are. What, I mean, 450 what, uh, degrees. What kind of Kingsford pellets are we burning today? We got those hickory pellets today, John. Oh, hickory. I didn't hear you. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, the beauty of those pellets, scientifically engineered yeah. and backed up, okay? Kingsford, over 100 years of experience in fuel. That's right. Like, Henry Ford. Yeah. Like, was a part of this. Mm hmm. I mean, I know John's got, you got that F 150 just. You know, just, I do. I mean, bringing it, bring it home. That's right. Same I know thing. you're rolling in that 250. I mean, you know, I had to get that diesel, boy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and pulse this up and get our. Uh, All right, so they're really interested in the RoboCoop, Chef Greg. Okay, so the RoboCoop is a spectacular piece of equipment. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but. Uh, it's a food processor that, that chefs choose. It's got a whole bunch of attachments to it. It's not the, like, sexiest of equipment. It's definitely not like that RT700 with those micro-polished bullhorn handles. Um, but it definitely gets the job done. I'm just going to scrape this down. Chef Greg, we got a question out here from uh, Craig Becker. She wants Jambo. to know about the Ultimate Blend Pellet and the co Competition Blend Pellet. Where can he find those? Yep. So you guys... Um, you can pick up the uh, Rectech Ultimate Blend Pellet on you know, HomeDepot.com. You can also find them on Amazon. But if you buy a grill, you can get them with the grill purchase. So it'll actually come with a bundle. You'll get one of each of those Kingsford pellets as well as a couple bags of that Ultimate Blend. All right, so we've got some chicken thighs. And look at this delicious mm. jerk seasoning. Now, I make a lot because I put it in a jar right here, okay? And if this is too much work for you, that's fine. You can pick up the shizzle. The shizzle. I mean, this is the shizzle. That's the shizzle. Okay. It says right there. Um, and you'll also notice the color's a little bit different. Uh, a lot of times they'll use dried herbs. They might put some molasses or dark cane sugar in there, whereas ours is a little bit more vibrant. But the shizzle, don't sleep on it. <laughs> Slamming. So we're going to let that marinate. For like four to six hours in the fridge, of course. But you know, I wouldn't let you guys down. Because Chef John and myself, we're growing boys. That's right, growing and round. And we're hungry. And we're going to redecorate down here. And we're going to go ahead and get some of this chicken on that RTB380 bullseye. It's not going to take very long, about 15 minutes. Mm. They love your shizzle sauce, Chef Greg. Have you had the shizzle out there? <laughs> They're talking about it. I mean... This is like Chef John's brother right here. That's Look. right. So, island flavor. Island flavor, man. The shizzle. Right there. I mean, y'all could be like brothers from another mother, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's good stuff. They also have the hot variety. Um, there you go. But you can kind of spice it up yourself. Now, if you are not a fan of habaneros or spicy food, you can do the same recipe but leave out the habaneros. Maybe sub in like a serrano or maybe you do a jalapeno, or maybe no peppers at all. Maybe you want to go a little sweeter, you can do like a little bit of, um, you know, bell pepper. But let's get on in here, Sherp. We got this RTB3 to Bullseye at 450. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to riot mode right now. Because I don't feel like waiting all day. And this is literally going to be done in no time. And I'm not wiping off a lot of the excess marinade, because I want that marinade to sort of like char and, and almost, you know, burn, if you will, and give us really good flavor. Now, with any hot peppers, you do not want to stand over top of this and breathe in because you're going to cough. Yeah, and it smells great from where I'm standing, though. I mean, but you can taste and smell that nutmeg, that allspice, that cinnamon. But 380 square inches of cook space, plenty of room on here for all of this delicious food. And not to be outdone, I love to put a little bit of that Jody's Asian Persuasion Ooh, on the top. Yeah. Because, again, that ginger, the honey granules, that's it. Close the lid and just live your best Rectech lifestyle. Maybe grab another cold beer out of that Rectech icer available now. That's what I'm talking about. Right now at Rectech.com. Uh, this cooler, this cooler, and that cooler available at rectech.com don't don't miss out
That's okay. right. Chef Greg, where can they find this recipe or any recipe that they see us do on any live show? I mean, all you guys got to do is jump over to rectech.com slash lunch break. Put your email address in there. Uh, we will delicately insert this recipe for you. But maybe you want to check out other recipes. We have a whole recipe section on the website. There's actually a really good uh, jerk pork tenderloin recipe on the website with a pineapple black bean salsa. I'm not going to lie. I wrote that recipe a couple years ago. It's the same marinade. So if you're impatient and you don't want to wait for that email, just go ahead and jump over to that pork tab on our recipe section on the website and uh, go ahead and make that marinade and make a lot because you can stick it in the fridge. It's good for about. shrimp, salmon, mm. pork, beef, vegetables. You can put it on absolutely anything. You can put it on a salad and it would be delicious. That's okay? what I'm talking about. Why not? I mean, maybe your, your, your Rectech lifestyle is a little slimmer than others. Mine and Chef John, we're like the barbecue medium variety. That's right. That's okay? right. That's how we roll around here. <laughs> Chef Greg, yeah, we have a lot of new rec tech owners out in the comment section. <laughs> Could you talk to them about how nice these Kingsford pellets are, why we're talking I about them, um, why they're just so great? Yeah. So it's really simple. So rec tech makes the absolute best grill for you guys. Hands down. You can't argue that point. Okay. Longest warranties in the business the best high quality standard components the first time you don't need to upgrade your grill it already comes with that hot flash ceramic ignition system it's already got that Y pellet Wi-Fi controller it's the best so when a company like Kingsford comes around and says hey you guys make the best grill yeah we make the best fuel let's get together mm -hmm. you listen why because they have a hundred years of experience in their tech center literally a hundred years yeah like, my grandparents are 94 and 93 years old. They're old. Yeah. Like, old. I yeah. love them, but they're old. Yeah. They know what they're talking about. They've been around. They've seen something. So you can guarantee that those Kingsford pellets are a high-quality yes. pellet. And here's the beauty of it. They're available everywhere. You can pick them up at your local Home Depot, Lowe's. You can pick them up at the dollar store. You can order your groceries online at your favorite establishment, and I guarantee they probably have the pellets in stock, and they'll put them in your trunk. I also like the fact that they come in 20-pound bags, makes That's it right. easier to move around. So, again, two bags will fill up that RT700 with that 40-pound hopper. You coming back on camera, Ryan? No, I'm good. No, he's good? <laughs> he's a little, uh, little red in the face. A little. He needs another beer. Yeah. So if you call the call center, maybe give Ryan a break. Or if you do get Ryan, Zach, Matt, or uh, Aaron, just – Cut a little break because they may not be able to talk to you because their, right, yeah. their tongue is burnt. They, they may be not be able to because their tongue burnt. I love those guys. <laughs> but, I mean, if you can't pull pranks on your family, who can you pull pranks on, right? Uh, just full disclaimer, that was not my idea, but it was my idea at the exact same time. <laughs> right? But you can pick up those Kingford pellets everywhere. They're available. They have a couple different blends. They've got their classic blend and their signature blend. So whether you're looking for a hickory, an oak, and a fruit wood, or maybe you're looking for you know 100% uh, maple, 100% hickory, 100% cherry pellets, uh, they got the hookup for you guys. And when you purchase a grill at rectech.com, you can pick up that pellet bundle. You'll get one of each of the bags of the Kingsford pellets as well as a couple bags of the Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets. And you will be ready to cook, my friend. World-class food, day in, day out. Cheers. Chef John, any other good questions? Uh, they're just, they're loving it. Uh, they're talking about the pellets, how wonderful they are, how easily they are to get all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, they're talking about how Ryan is just must be dying right now. He's whole, you know what, the dying. one thing about Ryan, he's got a poker face that's strong. <laughs> He'll never let you know when he's hurting on the inside, okay? He could be laughing on the outside, crying on the inside. He's a sensitive guy. He's also <laughs> Canadian, and we love him dearly around here. That's right. He has turned a little red in the face. He's a little redder than he normally is. But though. he's got that, like, slightly ginger complexion, which, again, you know, you get a little red in the face. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the chicken. Now, we turned this up to riot mode just a little bit ago. We are up to 519 degrees and climbing. Now, again, we had it at 400 degrees when we started literally just a little bit ago. And the beauty of that bullseye mm. is you're going to get some fat dripping on that heat deflector Man, there. And so that's going to go ahead and give you some flare-ups and fire and color. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. But with that grill, you also still have that convection current. So you're still going to cook top down, left and right. Your food's going to cook a lot faster, be a lot more moist, tons more flavor. Yeah. Right there with that RTB380 bullseye. It is that weekday workhorse. I probably use it at least four times during the week at the house. 
Chef John, I know you got something good because you got yeah. a smile on your face from ear to ear. Uh, Daryl uh, Paul asks, uh, is, uh, what's the best way if you want to change out your pellets in your hopper to a different flavor? What's the best way to do yeah. that? So for me, what I do is, you know, I cook a lot. So if I know I'm going to be changing out pellets, which, again, I don't normally do, I'm kind of like a one-and-done kind of guy, you can scoop it out with a red Solo cup or uh, keep your hopper about half full, and then what you can do is after a cook, if you know you want to change pellets for a pork loin, just run, let it run out. You're going to get great um, longevity burning high quality fuel so those Kingsford pellets are going to give you max BTUs they're going to burn right about a pound an hour at 300 degrees in the grills so again that'll give you a good gauge there and that red solo cup is 16 ounces it's right about a pound of pellets so you can do some math there when you scoop out your pellets but great question chef John what you got okay so for all of our friends that are in the colder uh, areas of the country it's starting to get a lot colder is there anything they could do to get their grill ready for the cold cooks so like I said it, the Rectech is designed to burn 365 24-7, okay? If you know you're not going to use your grill all winter and you're going to store it, you can definitely go ahead and winterize that grill. I would recommend cleaning out your drip pan, your buckets, go ahead and empty out your fire pots. Burn all of the pellets through that auger tube, and that way your grill is perfectly clean, ready to go for the next year. All you can do is dump in some pellets and go. If you're going to be cooking year-round, for me, um, you know, you can invest in a cold weather cover. Again, that'll help insulate the, uh, the barrel of the grill on that RT700. But you don't need a cover to cook year round. We've got grills in Alaska, Minnesota, uh, you know, the Pacific Northwest, Alberta, Canada, Forest, Ontario, Sarnia, Ontario, all over. Uh, they do great. The only thing you might it's notice true. in a cold weather when it's really, really cold outside, it might burn a little bit more fuel to maintain that temp. But that PID controller, that white pellet Wi-Fi controller, will maintain that temp for you. That's why you buy a Rectech. That's right. Convenience versatility and quality right there. So Chef Greg, for the cold weather covers, how cold are we talking before you would put one on your grill? Where I would you have to be? I'm kind of a lazy guy, you know what I mean? Like people say, hey Chef, how often do you clean your grills? I really don't. I keep my drip pans clean. Every couple cooks I'll empty out that fire pot. Um, but if you're talking like 20 below and like crazy windy and you want to get out there in your skivvies and grill, you know, and do some overnight cooks, it'll, it'll help maintain the temperature, uh, you know, and not burn up so many pellets. But for me, it's not something that you have to have to grill because, again, I want you to grill 365, okay? The more you grill, the happier your grill's going to be, the fuller your tummy's going to be. And, uh, yeah, back to this chicken because I'm not going to lie. Yeah. The habanero is starting to get to my eyes. I can smell it over here, Chef Greg. 572. And look at the color Ooh, here. Ooh. Man, that looks so good. I mean, look at how tasty this is getting. Come on. And this has literally only been on for, what, two, three minutes? At least. That RTD wow. 380 Bullseye is a griller's grill. It's that grill that you can get out there, you know, poke some food, flip some food, you know, get those fancy tongs. Yes. I mean, the smell's coming off that bullseye right now. Now, you might Chef not Greg realize these delicious. tongs here, okay, they're locking, okay? But it also gives you, the more you open and close those tongs, the better your food tastes. <laughs> Hands down. Hands down. Chef John, we got people behind you ready for a beer. So we got a beer right here. All there right. you go. Perfect. Now we've got 30 pounds of ice and a 24 pack in there. And I'm only using like half that cooler. That's what I'm talking okay? about. And we got the big cans because, you know, if you can drink one beer, instead of drinking a 12 ounce, you're going to drink 16 ounce. Chef John, what you got? Uh, top fan Chris Rodriguez asks Are there any holiday specials coming up like last year's bundles? Uh, I'm a guy that cooks some delicious food around here. Am <laughs> I one that makes decisions around that stuff? Absolutely not. And if I heard something, I would have to disclose it to you, like these coolers, back in stock at Rectech.com. They don't where, tell me things. Because where, I would tend they to go, where do they go, though, to find out about stuff like that? Very, very simple. Jump over to Rectech.com, scroll to the bottom of any page, uh, put your email address in there to subscribe to the newsletter, and when things come in back in stock, or we have promotions, or incentives, or we just want to say hello to you. That's right. We'll shoot you an email. But you got to be an insider, and you don't want to miss out because this recipe will be coming into your inbox very soon. Or maybe you got beer that needs to stay cold. Mm -hmm. Rectech Icer Coolers right here, available in three colors. This is a 45 quart. Uh, we took it camping with us this past weekend. It's got two bottle openers on the side. I love it, love it, love it. It is smoky as get out over here. Chef John, what you got? Mike Venture brought up a really good point. He What's was up, Uncle uh, Mike? When we were talking about letting the grill run out to switch out the pellets, mm -hmm. he said, don't forget to remember to prime that fire pot to, you know, get a handful. Uncle Mike, you are a scholar, a gentleman, 
You definitely got straight A's in high school. I'm just throwing it out there. That's right. I think he has a master's degree in common sense. <laughs> um, Uncle Mike, you are perfectly right. Now, again, if you're going to winterize your grill, you can go into the test settings of the grill that next spring and go ahead and turn that auger on. Let that prime that auger tube, and it will be uh, ready for you guys to fire up. Charlie, you doing all right, buddy? Good. I'm looking for a band for you. A band? <laughs> band? I don't need a band. But I think you need a beer. Again, tons of beers in this cooler. So as people walk up, we can just give them beer. Beer. Right? We have, I'm the beer assistant today, but the yeah. real beer assistant is right here. Rectech Icer Coolers, available now. Don't sleep on it. $249, free shipping. Um, you got the red and black. You got the red, white, and blue, which I think is it's my favorite. Is that my the one you're going to get when you finally get Have you gotten your cooler yet, Chef Greg? I'm letting the people get their coolers first. Okay, me okay? too. I haven't gotten I one yet I'm, either. I'm a patient guy. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy that has everything that you guys can't get. That's yeah, not cool. That's not cool. I'm not that guy. That's not okay? cool. I'm one of you. Uh, but definitely that red, white, and blue. That's coming home with you one day, right? For sure. Yeah, for I'm sure. going to get a green one. Laura Parsons hooked me that. up with an awesome cup. It matches that green cooler. That's the one I want to bring home. I mean, quality I of food mine. is quality of life. You Smoke know, on. You know it. You know All right, it. So you got jerk chicken. We got to have some sides with that jerk chicken. Yeah, definitely. And that RT700 is the perfect accompaniment grill to that. RTB 380 bullseye, but I made some red beans and rice. Ooh, yeah, okay? you did. Because if there's one thing I know about Chef John, he knows a thing or two about beans and rice. Mm -hmm. And he knows a thing or two about some delicious barnyard pimp. That's what I'm talking about. And by barnyard pimp, I'm yes. referring to that amazing smoked jerked chicken. That's right. And I know you're a, you're a thigh guy, too. You know it. You know it. You know me so well, Chef I mean, if, Greg. If chicken's had booties, I mean, we'd start I, there. But thigh true. is a, right up there close. That's true. That's close. Okay. But again, check out this chicken right here. Looking. Oh, man. It's just falling apart. So it's so tender. Good, Chef Greg. You guys need to show Chef Greg some love. I need to see some hearts. I need to see some wow faces. Show him a little love. We've got this set up to riot mode. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, super cheap at the grocery store. We're going to look for right about 175 degrees in the middle of that. And uh, it's not been a real show yet because it's not been 30 minutes. No, so I do have a couple more minutes not. to babble and get inundated with smoke, so much so that I probably need, like, special goggles <laughs> to prevent myself from burning my corneas with delicious flavor. Yes, for okay. sure. But on the red beans and rice, I did cheat. It's busy around here. Chef John don't mind. I did pick uh -oh. up a couple packages of red beans and rice, followed the directions on the packet, but instead of turning on the stove and heating up my kitchen and having to go monitor that, went ahead and put this uh, cast enamel Dutch oven on that RT700 behind me, which is a great way to cook rice pilaf and Ooh. bake things because you're going to have even consistent heat all the way around. And since that heat source is going to wrap itself evenly around that pot, I don't have to worry about scorching or burning anything on the bottom. Because I don't know about you guys, I've burned a pot of rice or two in my, in my day. You might not believe me. Chef John, you burnt some rice on the stove. Yeah, a little bit. Every once in a while, it's, okay. it's happened before it happens. my day. Yes. But you will never burn a pot of rice in the grill. All right, where do you get a cast enamel pan like that? Because I get a lot of questions about Lots it because we use them all the time. I'm a big fan of going to like discount stores, so like Sam's Club, Costco. You can always go to your local grocery store. Sometimes they have the kitchen sections. That stuff goes on sale a lot. And you can pick up, now this is a uh, seven quart cast enamel pan. It was like twenty two fifty at the grocery store. Now you could buy that like name brand Let Crusette for like $400, but twenty two fifty or 400 Yeah. I'd rather have that extra $300 yeah, to go too. buy that RTB 380 bullseye. For sure. And I like to get all my stuff like at the flea market. You can find mm -hmm. a lot of good cast iron at the flea Huge market. Yeah. People try to give it, not really give it away, but super cheap. Um, and that's really, I've gotten primarily all of my stuff from that. I'm a fan of that. So yeah. before I burn myself, I'm going to go ahead and put this rice right here. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And look, super easy to clean up, like no stickage right there. Man, that looks so good. Shoot, yeah, Bo. Chef Greg, uh, our, one of our fans out here, Tom Greer, asks, what's better, cast enamel or cast iron? All right, so they both will work very much the same in the sense of how they're going to retain heat and cook for you. The benefit to a enamel cast iron is it's non-reactive. So if you're going to cook things um, like spaghetti sauce or things with acid in cast iron, you're going to get off colors and sort of a metallic flavor to your food. It's just a reaction of the acid with the metal. It's completely normal and fine. But if you want a more refined uh, flavor, 
more of a non-stick uh, surface, that cast enamel um, pan will give you the same benefits of cast iron without all the headaches of having to, you know, wash it the right way, store it properly, uh, keep it nicely seasoned and oiled, and for me, makes life a lot easier. I love it. No, I love it. I'm s over 600 degrees. We've been in and out of this grill for a couple minutes now, and Chef Craig, that we got chicken a great char on this looks chicken. Fabulous. I mean. What do you say there, John? Mama say, mama sa, mama Ma saku la. You know that, Ooh, that child, please. Close enough. That was good. I can't talk. I got that pepper in my eye. <laughs> um, but again, if you don't want something super spicy, that's cool, man. Maybe you go with jalapenos. But you can check this out. This chicken, super delicious. I'm going to go ahead and take it off and build our plate here. Yes. Because I don't know about you, me and Chef John, we kind of hungry around here. Yeah. But Chef Greg, while you're building that, uh, what do you think about doing a giveaway today? Doing a giveaway? Well, you, didn't we already do a giveaway, giving a cooler and $100 to, a, yeah, to Matt Knipe? Yeah, but that's that's an internal giveaway. What do you think we, you know, I'm a man of the people. What do you, think, what do you say we give the people something? Okay. Now, we, we did say whoever picked Matt Knipe is the winner. We can do them something fun. Okay. I but like what do you, that. I, I'm curious, what do you have up uh, up your sleeves? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it's a great day here in Evans. We're out on the Rec Tech deck. It's like 78 degrees. It feels great. The smells of like all of wafting in my nose. I just feel like giving something away. All right. Those last pieces of chicken have just a second because they are really big. I'm going to go ahead and chop up a little bit of this green onion. All right. Maybe a, maybe some sauces and some rubs or something. I or smell what you're cooking. Yeah. I smell what you're cooking. All right. How about this? How about you guys comment down below, hashtag no more habaneros, and uh, Chef John and I will pick a winner. And that winner will win themselves a Rectech sauce and spice bundle. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about, Chef Greg. Now, right there, that, that's a, over a $100 value in rubs and sauces and delicious seasoning that you guys can bring that flavor elevator to the top floor. That's what I'm talking about. But super simple. In under 30 minutes, we have made a marinade from scratch. Mm -hmm. We fired up that RTB380 bullseye. And we've cooked this chicken to perfection. That is what using I'm those about. amazing Kingsford hickory pellets. Chef John, you want to come over here and yes, uh, sir. Can't break some wait bread for with you me? To ask me. Love it. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go, go sir. Uh -oh. Real fork. Real I wouldn't. Fork. I wouldn't do that. Well, next time you walk around, maybe that way. That's yeah, like I got a little. That's like the skinny path. Yeah. No, that's definitely not for me. All right, well, I'm going to go in here for some red beans and rice and then grab a little piece of chicken and then burn my frenulum. Yeah, I'm going to uh, do it cheers, too. Cheers buddy. to you, my friend. I've got to blow on it first. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, mm. oh man. Wow. That is delicious. You get a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. Definitely some citrus in there. You get pops from the citrus. The red mm -hmm. beans and rice are extra creamy. Hints of ginger. I need windshield wipers for my eyes. It's so... Delicious. You knock it out of the park, my friend. I'm going to double dip. But you can taste that cinnamon, the allspice, mm. the nutmeg, mm. the clove. Yep. We're, we're, we're hurting Sherp right now. Yeah, it is. Sherp's not used to all the smoke. But it's not overly spicy in the flavor of heat. No. It's spicy in the sense that it is encompassing mm. all of these delicious flavors. So good, And it has Greg. tons of flavor. So when so I think good. spicy, yes. I think flavor. Now, when I think heat... I think of pain like these guys were going through about <laughs> half an hour ago. Man, but that was so good. It is that time. we got to stop the show. So make sure you guys uh, subscribe to our newsletter at rectech.com. If you want this recipe more, check out rectech.com slash lunch break. And make sure you guys go to the website because these coolers are back in stock. We've got red and black. We've got the patriotic red, white, and blue. Maybe you live that outdoor lifestyle and you want that camo cooler so people can't find that cooler near the deer stand. That's right. That's fine. Go ahead and get you that buck and fire up some cold beer and that Rectech icer right there. That's right. But from everybody here at Rectech Worldwide Headquarters, make sure you follow us on all social media because you don't know what's going to happen. And I did hear a little birdie tell me that those girls of Rectech.
that barbecue is going live tomorrow. That's right. So you guys can check out the ladies of Rec Tech right here going live on their own cooking show. Mm -hmm. They're trying to run us out. And I got to tell you, they did a great job on those meatball subs last week. So I've got I've got high hopes and high ambitions for these girls <laughs> this week. That's but right. for everybody here at Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters, you know how we like to end it. God bless you. God bless the United States. And we will see you. At, At the Rec Tech. Chuch and John Starcevich, Katie do, Brady, do, Earl Moeller, what's up? Do, Brad do, Patterson, do. Shane, Rec Courtney, Chris, lifestyle. Steve, how you guys Set doing? It. Come get Brandon, it. what's up, when buddy? When the sun starts Dwight, going Kevin, down, Matt, live your life Bill, the way you like.